Hey you guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, coming to you today with what I think are my favorite videos to film, which is mail time segments from really cool companies and really cool people that send me amazing things. And today I'm featuring some more exotic and tropical fruits from my friends over at Miami Fruit Company. I'm wearing the seedbankbox.com shirt today, but today I'm gonna put Miami Fruit right in the center of my heart, right there. So check them out. Miami Fruit on Instagram and on Facebook. And today they sent me some incredible fruits. The main one I wanna show you guys today is this one right here that looks kind of like an egg you would get in the Game of Thrones show, if you guys watch that show. It's called a custard apple. And this guy looks so crazy. It looks kind of like a dinosaur egg. But right now this is totally ripe. It's very soft. And it looks to me like it's in the same family as a soursop. If you guys Google search soursop, that's a fruit that looks kind of similar to this, only it's usually green or kind of yellowish in color. This one's red, and I've never had a custard apple before. So it's my first experience tasting custard apple, even when I've gone to Hawaii in the past, and I hit up all the local farmer's markets in Hawaii, I've never been there at the right time of year for custard apple. So let's open this together and taste it and look at what's on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna take my knife and cut around and try to reveal this to you guys dramatically, so stay tuned, watch carefully. Let's open it up and see what's on the inside here. Oh my God, it looks incredible. It looks like the alien from the Alien movies. I mean, this is already an incredible fruit. It's kind of just dripping out of this fruit pod here. I'm gonna eat half of this right now with you guys, so. I got my spoon here. I'm gonna just dig in, because this is so ripe. I'm really excited right now. Why do I get so excited for fruit? I don't understand. I mean, I should be getting excited for cars, and for money, and for houses, and prestige, but instead, I just get excited for fruit. It's like a treat. It's like Christmas time when a Miami fruit box comes in. Each one of these little sections I just dug out of the fruit has a seed in it. Mm, it's very creamy and fruity and juicy. But kind of like cotton candy at the same time. Not juicy like uh, a pineapple. A pineapple is a different kind of juicy than this. Mm. And then we got these little seeds. Maybe I can plant somewhere. Probably not in Phoenix. If I ever go to Hawaii or Florida, I'll be sure to plant these seeds. Mm. I mean, I already ate a good vegan meal for dinner tonight and I was looking for some dessert because I'm the kind of guy that doesn't matter what he eats as long as it's vegan. So if there's vegan ice cream around made out of coconut or almonds, I'm gonna eat it. Then I just go to the gym and burn it off. So I'd much rather get some tropical exotic fruit and eat that for dessert because then my organs and my blood and my immune system and my cells get the benefits of something with a ton of nutrients and a ton of antioxidants inside of it. Mm. That's awesome. I mean, that's awesome. That's so good. It's so damn good. Why the hell am I living in Arizona? I should be living somewhere where I can grow this stuff. Oh my God. Rain, Miami fruit, the whole team over there. I love this. I need eight of these trees in my backyard. Mm. This custard apple is so ripe right now. It does have the texture of custard. I'm gonna eat the whole thing as soon as the camera turns off. But we also have a bunch of these mame sapotes. And mame sapote, I did in the last video with you guys, is one of my favorite fruits in the world. It tastes like pumpkin pie fruit. They're not quite ripe yet, so when the box from Miami Fruit comes in, you can't just eat everything right away. Some things are ripe, some things are not. And this mame sapote needs about five more days. So I'm gonna leave it on the counter and let it ripen up. If you put it in the fridge, it won't ripen up properly. So I keep it right on the counter, maybe even in a paper bag that's rolled up and closed up. We got a nice little mango here. But he also sent me some of these guys, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are sapodillas or chico sapotes. So let's open up this chico sapote and see what it looks like and what it tastes like on the inside. Okay, here's my little chico. I've got all the custard apple seeds and the custard apple waiting here for me. But I got this chico, let's cut it open. Oh man, it's so ripe. And I have had these before, so I am in for a treat here. Look at that guy. That looks incredible. 
Look at how it looks, just like brown sugar sweetness. Okay, here's the Chico Sapote on the spoon. A couple little seeds in there we can plant if we wanted to, and let me try to describe it to you guys. Mm. The custard apple is good, but this is so good. I mean, it literally tastes like brown sugar. Like if you were to take a glass of water and just put a ton of brown sugar in it and make a brown sugar drink, that's what the Chico tastes like. Mm. And the thing is that this Chico is incredibly ripe. It's very important to wait with your mame, your custard apple, and your Chico Wait until they're soft, really soft. Almost to where you're afraid to touch it because it might bruise it with your fingertips. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm so happy that I found Miami fruit because I was wondering for the longest time, even though I'm in the desert, how can I find you know fresh locally picked stuff that's shipped right to me that's exotic and tropical and allowed me to taste fruits I don't normally get to taste. Sure, I can go to the Asian markets around town that import stuff from Mexico, but it's not the same. They always pick it unripe and it never fully ripens properly. So this is a treat to find a company like these guys that really, I follow Miami Fruit on Instagram, so I get to see them picking all this fruit during their Instagram posts. They post in the Instagram story and on the Instagram main section, and I get to watch them pick the Jabba de Caba, and I get to watch them pick the bananas and pick the mangoes and pick the sugar apples and pick the cherimoyas and adamoyas and the mame sapotes and then they ship it right to me so it's ripe it's so good that custard apple is freaking good but these chico sapotes give it a run for its money for sure it's so delicious i can't even tell you how happy i'm right now all right this is a quick episode today i got all these mames now ripening up on the counter I've got one more Chico that's ready to go and this have to eat, so I'm still happy in my soul and in my taste buds. I got the rest of this custard apple to eat and there's three ways you guys can reach out to Miami Fruit Company. Go to miamifruit.org. You can also follow them on Instagram, Miami Fruit, and you can also join their Miami Fruit Facebook page. Go to either of those sources, tell them Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, sent you and ask them what fruits do they have ripe right now. I believe their website is pretty good about telling you what's in season because their inventory of fruits changes throughout the year to suit what's in season. If you guys want to give your taste buds a flavor explosion, don't do it with man-made desserts. Do it with tropical fruits in their natural state, in their ripe state. And I got this great relationship going on with Miami Fruit that I'm really happy I found because it's hard to find a company like this that allows you to experience fruits that create heaven on earth.